Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this video we're going to take a look at command line arguments in Node.js. So um, we've seen that you can write use strict like this at the top of your files. I'm in a, just an empty file here which I've called commandline.js and you can declare variables like this let, uh, let's write let greeting equals hello and you can output stuff you can print it on the console like this console.log greeting so I've, s I've declared a variable called greeting I've assigned a value to it hello and I've printed the value in that variable and I can run this from the um, command line by writing node and the name of the script it says hello. Now you can actually output multiple variables or values with console.log. So um, let's supposing I want to output a, uh, a name or some text here. I can write comma and in single or double quotes a name. So I'm going to say hello to myself here. Hello John. If I run this, let's try it, it says hello John. Notice there's a space between them. Um, although there's no space here that you can see. Well there is a space there but the thing is uh, JavaScript doesn't take notice of spaces in your code. It would take notice of a like a space in your string. Let's maybe change this to single quotes for consistency. It doesn't matter which you use though. Alright, I like to keep things consistent. Um, but when you output multiple variables or values like this, uh, it will put it will helpfully separate them by spaces so that they're easier to read. Now, um, do try this out for yourself. Uh, and what I want to show you here is that um, there's a, a special kind of well, it's actually what we call an array argv that contains various useful values. So let's. Let's try outputting stuff with argv here. So I'm going to write console.log and process. Don't worry about what process and console and stuff like this are just at the moment. Process.argv and then we have two square brackets like this, an open, opening and a closing square bracket. And in there I'm going to write zero. Right, so we've got two console.logs. Um, let's run this program and see what it does. So uh, we've got we, we've got the hello John that's still there, but what this console.log um, process.argv0 did was it output actually the location of Node, the Node program that we're using. You'll probably get something different. It just depends where you installed it and how you installed it. You know, but you'll get the location of node, hopefully. If we change this 0 to 1, there's something else in there that is sometimes potentially helpful. Um, and here we get, what is this? It's the, it's the um, location of the program that I'm running, commandline.js. That's, that's the file that I'm actually running. Uh, and there's another possibility process.argv2. Now if I run this it's just going to say undefined but here's what it actually does. Let's just clear this. I'll, I'll say node command line.js and I'm going to type something like giraffe and it outputs giraffe. So you can see that this text here is actually um, outputting what I've typed on the command line here which in this case was giraffe. Uh, now if you've been if you've done some programming before you'll recognize argv as a array and if you haven't done any programming before this will be like completely cryptic as far as you're concerned but that's alright. Um, that's alright for the moment you'll, you'll come to understand this in time as we go through the course. Notice um, there are two places where I've, I've written something dot something. There's console.log and there's process.argv. 
Those are what we call objects in JavaScript. And if we search on the internet for Node.js global objects, uh, there are a bunch of these things. Let's go to this link here at nodejs.org. Uh, and you can see in here there's console, there's process. There are a bunch of these um, global objects um, that we can access, never mind about what they are. Just know that there are several different ones. And in fact, log here is, is what we call a method. It's, it's essentially a subroutine. Uh, it's some code that we can run, some lines of code, basically. And argv is what we call an array. And we're going to be going through all, all this in great detail. But for the moment, let's just make use of this. So this process argv, let's, let's get the um, value of it in a variable. Let's say let name equals, let name equal process.argv. So whatever the user enters after the program, we will take that and we will put it in the variable name. And then when I do console.log, I'll write console.log greeting and then name. Okay, so it, again, if you've done program, programming before in some language, this will probably be very straightforward to you. But in case you haven't, um, it'll look a bit mystifying. Uh, do type it out for yourself. Essentially, we've got two variables here. One I'm setting directly with a, what we call a string literal, an actual hard-coded value, a value I've written directly into my program. So greeting is, is assigned this value. We've got a variable called name, which is assigned a value from this thing here. And that thing there contains whatever you type after the name of your program when you run it. And then we're outputting both of these variables one after the other. Let's try this. And um, so I'm going to write node command line and some name like um, Joe or whatever. You can write your name there. Hello, Joe. Notice if I write two, two things, let's write a surname. It's, it only picks up the first one. That's because it's considering this to be another what we call command line argument. So this is the first command line argument, and that's another command line argument. We could access that using the number three, but um, we won't worry about that here. Um, all I want to do is get some minimal stuff off the command line, and I'm happy just with one bit of text. Okay, try all that out for yourself. Um, uh, if, if you are a beginner, this stuff is confusing. And there is this just initial feeling of confusion that's always associated with uh, prog with learning programming at the beginning. And also, if you have program programming experience and you switch from one language or framework to another, um, it doesn't persist as long, but often you sort of recreate that feeling of confusion slightly. And you just have to persist through it because the important thing at the moment is that you type stuff and you just see what it does and ideally experiment with it a bit yourself as well and gradually this will become second nature to you and as we go through this course I'll be able to explain to you um, all of the stuff that's going on here so um, eventually it will lose its mystery but I can't just explain it all now because um, ex the explanation would involve uh, just too many different concepts and you would get lost uh, so you need to just practice this stuff that I'm showing you kind of just practice typing it and getting it working um, and you'll gradually get used to it. One thing that I, I should do here is, um, since we're using, I'm using Git in this course, I should check this into Git, uh, but um, I can't, I'll do that after I've paused the video. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.